Dreams in a rush. This coverage of the Premier League 2 returns today as Manchester United make the trip down to Arsenal for the first game of the season. Now, before we get into all of the action, I need to tell you about a little change in the Premier League 2. It is no longer under 23 teams and they have now become under 21 teams. But each team is allowed to field six players over the age of 21, including one goalkeeper, to ease into that transition. So now that's out of the way, let's get straight into the action. It was the host who almost opened the scoring on 10 minutes, but Bjorn Hadley was on hand to make up for his mistake earlier on in the move and block the ball out for a corner. Just two minutes later, down the other end, United scored their first goal of the new season, and what a goal it was. Charlie Wellens from the free kick straight into the top right corner, giving the keeper no chance. On the subject of keepers, Ben Mee was tested with a firm shot from a new signing, Marquinhos, but a United keeper responded brilliantly to keep his side in the lead. Just ten minutes later, Mee was tested once again from distance, but showed good hands to hold on to the ball and not look troubled. Then just five minutes before half-time, Arsenal drew level. It was that man again, Marquinhos, who got down on the right-hand side. Despite the save from Ben Mee, Kayon Edwards was first to react in the six-yard box to prod the ball over the line. The Gunners started quickest in that second half, and after impressing in the first, Marquinhos tried his luck, hit his own player to then try his luck once again and found the bottom corner to put his side in the lead for the first time in the game. United slow to react, Arsenal pounced again and this time it was Miguel Aziz who found himself in acres of space to bring the ball down and place it past me. After soaking up the pressure, United almost got a goal back at the hour mark. Charlie Wellens was screaming for the ball on the right-hand side and for good reason. He delivered a fantastic ball into Charlie McNeil who did well to get his shot away. With just 10 minutes remaining, United couldn't get much closer. Hansen Aaron on the edge of the area showed quick feet before firing towards goal and smashing it into the woodwork. The last chance of the match came from a set piece taken by substitute Sam Mather, who sneakily tried to beat the keeper at his near post with no avail. Full time here at Boreham Wood Stadium, Arsenal 3, Manchester United 1. I thought it was terrific. Uh, certainly the first 25 minutes, scored a fantastic goal, played really well with the ball, used it well, competed well, um, and then they, they've equalised um, later on, if you like, and they've come into the game a little bit. They're, they're entitled to come into the game. Um, as you said, they've some good players, it's Arsenal Football Club, they're going to have the ball, but I thought we were probably in the ascendancy in that first half, which was, which was pleasing, and then... We, can add it. We, we committed the cardinal sin of switching off after half-time. So despite that sparkling first-half performance from United, they couldn't come away with the open victory that they may have dreamed of. However, plenty of positives to take away from the game against such tough opponents in such an experienced side. Most of all, that goal from Charlie Wellens, which it couldn't be the goal of the season already, could it? Join us next week where we 